What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having a spectacular day. So a lot of you have requested, oh can you see? I've got little stickers on my windows that shine rainbows when the sun shines through. So we've got a rainbow shoot today. Um, but some of you guys have requested uh, outfits for self tapes um, or outfits that you could use to do, you know, a TV self tape, a commercial self tape, a musical theater self tape, all of the above. So I did just do a big Shein purchase. Is that how you say it? H S H E I N. That website, I did a purchase of a bunch of blouses and tops. Um, some are basic and neutral and some are like a little, you know, bright just to give it a little bit of like a pop on on camera. Um, so I figured I'd do a uh, haul for you guys of everything that I bought. I did buy some things that are like a little out of my comfort zone. Um, so we'll see how they fit and how, how we like them. Um, yeah, so we're gonna do a Shein haul, but before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe because it'll really support my channel. And let's get started. So the first one I have on is a super basic white top. Um, it is a crop top. Um, I've got I just a pair of jeans on to like show you what it looks like as an outfit. But remember, when you're doing a self tape, let me pull my camera up. When you're doing a self tape for TV and film, most of the time, this is your frame, maybe a little bit taller, right? You're never really far away. So all you're really gonna see is the top of it. Um, so, you know, you don't need to wear anything. You want the color, you know, and sort of the style of the top of the shirt to matter more um, for that. If you're doing musical theater, it can be a little further back because they tend to want to see your whole body language when you're singing. But again, for your television and film stuff, you're pretty much really close to the camera because they want close up to see your face and your eyes and your acting. So the first one that I bought, which also these are also really good in like everyday life as well, is this cute white crop. Super cute super flattering I will link every single thing that I purchased in the description below um, I had I ordered all in a size small sometimes when I order from this website um, and I go a medium it tends to be a little baggy and too big on me so I fingers crossed it is small and ha everything happens to fit really well this time which is not always the case so first one is this super cute white top and let's go ahead and change into the second one Okay, so the second one is a mint green button down. This could go really well if you're doing um, extra work or background work or an audition where you need to put a blazer over it. It's a nice color with a nice thick collar. Again, I was very surprised by the quality. The quality is really nice. I also did order a lot of things that are shorter. So I don't really like long shirts. I'm really like vibing the like, you know, um, crop style also these are all really good shirts for summer so it's like a dual usage yes so this is a like almost mint green cute little button down let's go into number three okay this is number three it's a little yellow moment and if I come closer it's got little like flowers on top I liked it because it had an interesting neck you know it has a little ruffle with the V I'm not gonna lie I haven't checked these on camera and it actually doesn't look that bad if you had like you know a tan backdrop or a blue backdrop it's a pretty nice shirt again I thought I thought that this was a little bit interesting but not too distracting and it also wasn't like bright and screaming but again the material is super thin perfect for summer it's super cropped you could wear it with jeans like for an outfit I keep checking myself in the mirror you could even like I tend to like like to tie all my stuff and make it look really cute for like the outfit vibe but in terms of self taping you know all you're really gonna see is this so I think it's super cute not a yellow girl, but I actually kind of like it. All right, let's go into number four. Okay, here's a nice white neutral. Again, I tried to get something that was a little more interesting than just like a white tank top. So we've got this fun zipper. Again, it can be, if you're like playing a businesswoman, it can be all the way zipped up with a nice necklace. Or, you know, if you're playing, I don't know, a teenager or whatever, it can be a little bit unzipped. Um, yeah, again, it's sort of short, so you can wear it with jeans or roll it up. Super, super cute. A nice fun white neutral and again you know in your frame that's really all you'll see so you have a nice little V neckline which is a little bit more interesting than just a basic tank top all right let's go into the next shirt okay we got our first really bright color I don't know how I feel about it on camera I think it's simple though I did like the cuffed sleeves I'd have to actually look at it in a backdrop to see if I would use this for a self tape it might be a little too bright but I think it's super cute anyway I'd like I'm definitely gonna keep it I love the cuffed arms again it's short so you know it comes up to the waist you could wear it you could tie it 
for, you know, um, summertime. Yeah, so this is our first bright color. Again, like I said, I kind of went out of my comfort zone. I don't really wear yellow, but I figured let's just buy some, you know, basics that can go, this can also go under a blazer too. Um, and you can sort of tone down the yellow a little bit, but I think it's super cute. Let's go on to our next shirt. Okay, this one I love. This one I feel like I'm gonna be auditioning in it a lot. It's pink, it's got a little bit of a ruffle, it's got a nice little neckline, a nice little collar. It's kind of shimmery, kind of pink. It's got a little bit of like something, but again, it's basic, right? It's like a simple pink with not too many patterns. I feel like in a self tape, that's perfect. And it just adds a little bit of an element of, uh, I, I don't know if I were like a business professional or a lawyer or you know something like that um, but even just like for anything it's it's not too dressy or too underdressy that you could uh, you could really just wear it for anything I really like it and I also like that it's long sleeve I wanted to buy one that was long sleeve again it's short you could wear this for the summer crop it up crop it up I love this one this one I feel like I'm gonna be wearing a lot all right next shirt Okay, I love this one too. I feel like I look good in like pinks and blues and browns. This one's super cute. Again, like a little bit of a design, right? Not just a basic plain blue shirt. It's got little ruffles. It's got nice buttons that go down the front. It's short sleeve again, so in your frame, right? You'd really really only see like the one button in this. So I feel like it's gonna look really good, really cute. It goes well. The buttons are brown and match my hair. Matches my hair. You can wear a necklace with it. Again, I'm pleasantly surprised. I've ordered from Shein before and it's been a no-go for me, but their blouses have been um, pretty, pretty spectacular so far. Um, again, like I said, I'll link in the description box below every one that I bought. I did buy a size small in all of them. All right, next shirt. Okay, I thought this one was super cute. I love that it's actually a crop. I, I actually think I'm gonna wear this out in a day or two. Um, so it's a it's like a leopard print, but it's subtle. It's not too like leopard print. I feel like it would look good on camera. It's got a little bit of a fun little like pop sleeve here. It's short sleeves. The short sleeves are loose. It's got buttons down the front. Again, right? You got to think frame. I think that that is a nice neckline too for um, camera auditions. So I think it's super cute. I'd wear this again, maybe with a blazer if I was playing a business professional, or you could do this with like a big statement necklace and big earrings if you're playing like a girl going to the club. Anyway, I think it was super cute. Again, I don't really wear a cheetah, so I, I'm buying all of these um, dresses. I'm sorry. So I'm buying all of these blouses that are a little bit different, but again, I have all basics. I have black, tan, white. So I wanted a little bit more color to my, my neutral base puppy my neutral base when I was shopping all right let's go on to the next shirt okay I think we've, we've established that Emily has a theme we've got a little collar with the V I feel like that's what I've been drawn to this whole time um another basic white this one's more loosey flowing so you can get away with it being more casual again you have to think self tape but also like outfits in life right don't just go out and buy clothing that you're just gonna use for self tapes make sure that you can have it be multi-functional but I think again super easy you could also throw a blazer on this to make it a casual look and not a professional business look but your frame is up to here and I think it's a nice neckline again I don't know maybe not leave a comment below if you don't think the neckline's good but I think it's really good um, and I think it's a nice basic white um, to have in your everyday closet let's go to the next shirt Okay, here we have a nice simple black button down. It's different though than, you know, ones you would get at Express. Most of the time it's just a straight neckline, but this is like a scalloped neck. I don't know what's with me and the like new necklines, but I find that that's a little interesting than just um, a plain, you know, straight neckline. You could wear a nice like tight choker with big earrings on this one. Again, super simple and black with a colored background would look really nice. I know that I don't have my backdrop up right now, but in frame, I think it would look really nice. Again, it's a button down, so you could open it and have a tank top. You could throw a colored blazer, like a white blazer on top of this one. I find that neutrals with a little bit of a design element is really nice for your closet. Again, it's short, so you can wear it every day for summertime. Um, yeah, I like the black. I like the scallop, actually. It's really pretty now that I'm looking at myself on camera. Um, and, you know, you guys are, I'm actually, you're experiencing with me what they'll look like on camera. I tried them all on just to make sure I wanted to keep them and not send anything back, but I haven't looked at them on camera yet. So, we like our black. Okay, let's go into the next blouse. Okay, Emily is liking the V line. Can we tell? Emily is liking the V neckline. So this is another white one. It's got a little bit more texture though. So I feel like our lighting has changed. Our lighting has changed. Um, it's got a little bit more texture. I don't know if you can see there. 
and it's got a little bit of like a design. The, the sleeves are a little bit longer, a little more frilly. So yeah, so I just think it's like a little bit more interesting than just a basic one. Again, I would totally wear this out. I think it's super cute, super basic with a little bit of a design element, right? Again, framing, nice little V-neck line. <laughs> I'm loving the V-neck. I don't know that I've ever been a V-neck girl. I don't know that I've ever been a V-neck girl, so this is new for me. But everything fits really great too, which I'll say, um, again, size small. I'll link every shirt that I did purchase in the description box below. Let's go into our next blouse. Okay, so this is similar, and it's actually the exact same thing as the first one that I showed you, which was white, the ribbed crop. I bought it in a brown too, because I feel like I look good in brown with the backdrop that I have. Again, you could put a little necklace on it. This one's super simple. If you're not trying to like make a statement with your outfit, this is just a good one to have. Again, I like the crops in the summer, so I like that it's a true crop. I feel like everything really, lately, it's been like a rib crop, and I have a long torso. So this actually worked out well for me, so I bought it in every color, brown, white, and black. All right, next shirt. Okay, so I did purchase this one in blue that you saw before. This one's in white though, because I thought it would look really cute for summer. Again, it'll look really good on camera. We've got the little bit of a frill on the side. We've got the button down, so you could technically open it up and put something else underneath it. I don't know, I just, I was really into the white lately too, which I don't know if you're supposed to wear white on camera, but I think it looks nice. And you can also add, you know, a brown blazer to this as well. So I thought it would be a nice staple in my wardrobe. Okay, I think. I think we've got one more. Yes, one final shirt. Here we go. And this is our last and final shirt. Like I said, I bought this in black, brown, and white. It is a cropped black ribbed t-shirt and that's everything that I bought. Again, I did purchase a size small and everything. I think that they're all really great items for self tapes for you know, basics in your wardrobe that you can add and layer onto and any type of audition that you need to do on camera, I think that they're perfect. Also, they all look really good with jeans, so you could wear them in person if we go back to in-person auditions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment below if you have any questions about anything that I purchased. Again, it is from the company Shein, S-H-E-I-N. Um, you can find all of the stuff that I purchased in the description box below. Before you guys go, please don't forget to subscribe because it'll really support my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Tried to hit a double turn, but it didn't. Let's do it again. A pot of beret and a pot of beret. Double turn down.